Good morning, folks. We've got actual space weather to discuss today. Sunspot group larger than the Earth coming over the eastern limb south of the equator. We've got more to discuss as well, but let's begin at spaceweathernews.com. We're looking at 193 angstroms of our star, bright active region visible there as well. South of that, a nice looking plasma filament too. We can zoom in on the intensity gram to see the dark core of an umbra appearing on the Earth facing side of the Sun. It is at the earliest stage of visibility, however, can not yet affect Earth, but then again hasn't fired any solar flares yet, just crackling as it comes into view. Also good view here of the filament to the south of it. Once again, there is no public access for SOHO videos for a few weeks, so here's the inner heliosphere on the C2 coronagraph thanks to Nine Risi. No CMEs, just a high-level field opening and increased density top right. That won't affect Earth and we're still seeing dropout in solar wind intensity. It is looking like the sparse equatorial openings either have a weak, slower stream or have missed Earth. The current openings cover all but the equatorial region, but may still be able to reach this heliographic latitude. Sticking with the sun one more moment here to see the tiniest well-defined coronal cavity, one of the tiniest you're going to see. It's a magnetic loop and central void in the ionized iron view. Interesting piece out about the Magellanic Cloud System the dwarfs that are satellites to the Milky Way. Similar age star clusters seem to indicate they form together during a meeting of those two clouds, but what might be more interesting isn't necessarily a collision of the dwarfs, but could they have split from one larger system upon interacting with the Milky Way? This possibility doesn't seem to be mentioned. And let's take a step further in the question mark direction because sometimes it is not easy figuring out what's going on in an article. Let me take you on a ride I took last night. So this article looks like it's going to be pretty interesting. Extragalactic planets take the exoplanet search to a whole new level. They say they found planets from the size of the moon to Jupiter, but that is somewhat tough to reconcile on their featured image. And why do they seem to be bigger than the central star, and why does it seem like they are sharing an orbit? Well, what they don't tell you in the article is where to find this thing. Luckily, they gave you the paper name, and only when you read that work do you realize that the ring isn't supposed to be planets orbiting. We are supposedly seeing a central elliptical galaxy, with the ring being a quasar behind it, and being lensed. The four bright points on the outside ring are actually all the quasar, visible at different points of the lens. And what this means is that we are not actually looking at an image at first of the star and its planets in another galaxy. We are looking at the far away signature of the obscured object itself. One wonders how they even teased out individual stars, let alone planets, and some as small as the moon. Neither the optical nor the x-ray information seems to give us that indication that it would be possible, especially since, once again, this is not a ring of orbit. It's a scene of something 6 billion light years away, lensed by something only 3.8 billion light years away. So when they say that they've spotted planets in the ring, it seems relatively incredible. Some the size of the moon, and we're stretching the credulity in my book. Either way, sort of confusing to put this title next to this photo. Definitely took some figuring to get at exactly what was being communicated in that article. Website members at suspiciousobservers.org. You got your Fly on the Wall podcast yesterday and deeper look episode 16 on the year. Mysterious forest rings due to electrical energy. Their words, not mine. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.